Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use the Nagra 4.2 tape audio recorder. Um, this will be very brief, but hopefully we can just cover the basics. Enjoy! So from the very beginning, first you want to set the speed at which your tape is going to roll. They are um, about five different settings, but usually 7.5 by 19 centimeters is standard, so I have that set there. Next, you want to get your two rolls ready, one empty, obviously, and the other with the tape. Hopefully, that is blank, which doesn't have to be always the case. Um, next, you want to put the tape onto the recorder itself. Now it's really important here to make sure that it, you set it correctly down onto the roller and there is a slight click in which you can then start to feel the resistance of the tape onto the recorder. Each time you set the tape down, you need to make sure to secure the washer or else your tape can then fly off and that's never a good situation. Here I am showing the blank tape. And notice the resistance there. And there you go. Next, you would like to start to thread the tape through the actual machine itself. So fun fact about this sort of tape, it was created by Scotch, the same company that creates normal sticky tape today, as you can notice on the very end of the band there. It's the same sort of checkered pattern. It is usually a, st it is a straight line, um, but I understand that when you look at it, it can be a little bit daunting, but don't worry It is a straight line from as you can see the two rolls on either side of the machine um, Here I'm going to roll it around the blank tape and make sure that it hooks now There is an area in which you can Secure the tape in the middle of the empty roll, but that's not always important All that you need to make sure is that the tape is secured and that at the very end you click the security lever in place. Without that lever, you are not able to record. It's a very important step. So just to review, it goes straight across, past the three barrels, through the lever, and now onto the blank piece of tape. Also, it is very important to secure the red tab. Now, the red tab in those three barrels is exactly where the recording is going to happen. So, if you were to record and have all these things ready without the red tab, well, what happened was you just weren't doing anything. <laughs> um, also, it is very important to use a quarter-inch adapter when you are use listening to the tape that you're going to record. Unfortunately, these days, they do not make that sort of piece for modern... Um, phones so we need to here i am plugging in my headphones into the quarter inch adapter now you put the quarter inch adapter into the area that says phones and phones level is very important to remember is just the volume of the headphones not the actual levels of the sound you're getting um, you can use a flathead screwdriver or your nail to adjust the um the levels but i just prefer to use my nail <laughs> Okay, so there's input one, input two. These are the two areas in which you can plug in your microphone, your external microphone. Um, here I am with a DXLR. Um, it's about standard two feet one. Um, there's a giving and a receiving head. Now it's important to remember to put the giving head into the receiving hole of um, your Nagra. So here we are trying to test the sounds. Now it's important to use the test before you actually begin to record so that you can hear what sort of sound that your microphone is picking up. 
You can listen to the tape once it's recording there, or directly you can hear what the, um, the machine is picking up. It's important to distinguish between the two. Usually you just want to listen to the tape though. Um, here you can see what the levels will look like when you are recording. Um, it is important to try to hit the area on the very top rung in the most bolded part. That is the zero decibels. That is around the maximum. That is me That means you have good um, levels in which you are hitting them there. Here you can see there is labels mic 1 and mic 2. I only plug the first interest. input, so the first mic corresponds to that. Um, you can go and adjust the decibels in that direction. The lowest is 74. Usually the normal is 85. You just want those levels to be um, straightforward and up. That just means that the the, need, the needle is showing what the levels are and not anything. Next, we're going to start to record. So, when you want to record, obviously you turn the dial to hit record. You will see the pilot and the speed and power turn from black to white. Um, these are two indications that show what you're doing is correct. Um, and as you can see, the... Um, the tape is moving and is going through the red and it is recording. Next, move it back from neutral to playback. When you want to listen to what you've recorded, you would listen to it through playback. To then fast forward through what you've done, click playback and then flip the switch that says fast forward. Um, this is a really fun thing for me as you can hear everything go And then, once again, to stop it, move it back into neutral and move the dial needle back into neutral. Well, thank you so much for listening to my tutorial. Once again, this was a very basic 101 sort of thing. There are obviously many more settings and um, ways in which you can play a Thanagra. I really enjoyed learning how to use this analog sort of machine as we live in this digital age, uh, you know, full of binary and ones and zeros. This is a very real um, and not as intuitive machine.